John Considine arrived into Seattle in the late 19th century from Chicago, where he'd briefly been a policeman. Beginning as a stage actor, Considine opened the People's Temple in Pioneer Square, which featured magic, singing, and dance acts. The club developed an infamous reputation for the actresses commingling with the male audience for price behind dark and private booths. You might call it private lap dance sessions. Considine operated the theater between 1891 and 1894, and four years later after city reform movements. Considine was an individual of extreme contradictions. He dealt cards but never played. His livelihood came from selling sex and booze, but he didn't drink and was a devoted family man. He was able to run the famed Wyatt Earp out of town when he set up competing operations. His career would later include theater and even film productions. The building he leased but didn't own would later become one of America's first acknowledged gay clubs, the Doubleheader. <laughs>